there in the faculty of law. You prepare the draft legislation for the reform of land laws in the Gambia. And uh, you took part in the review of Zimbabwe's land law. Uh, that, that, that came on the heels of the Lancaster Constitution for majority rule. Now, what can you say about land reforms in Nigeria? I don't think we are interested in any reform at all. Uh, you see, if you want to see a serious nation, you would watch the way they go about things. We do our things here in this country on fire brigade basis. We don't give attention to any reform. There's no reform going on in Nigeria. I think you're a good witness. Uh, I've done a lot in this field, and, I mean, and everybody knows. And uh, nobody wants to uh, know, I mean, for one reason or the other, beyond, I've taken part here in this country in the review of our land law at all levels, state, federal, in fact, I, I helped in preparing a review of the land use decree, which was ready for signature. But there you are. We are still waiting. And nobody is talking about it. We accepted it as, a, as an article of faith that we don't deserve to review anything. But really, I think we must address this issue because unless you review yourself, um, you can't make progress. And we must take reform of land law seriously because it's so crucial to economic development. Right. Uh, for a man with a background, yes. if we were to say, what are those basic things that are faulty about uh, the land law now? Oh. <laughs> uh, first, see, you talk about the tenure system, that is the pattern. There is so much confusion. The conflict has not been resolved. But some Nigerians, whether they are right or wrong, believe in ownership. Then you have put on that the concept of limited right. OK? You brought the land use decree overnight. You just dictated to Nigerians. <laughs> Helpless people, they just have to take it. They were never consulted. Have you ever seen any nation that can produce law overnight and as expects acceptability? And that is why we are in a doldrum. For instance, you take a transaction in land as wasteful as you can imagine, a transaction in land. Tell me how long it will take to conclude a transaction, a transfer and how much it will cost the individual. The only party who can love, that can love in this matter is the collector of the revenue. Many titles are never perfected, and that's a dangerous thing, because they can't find the money to do the perfection, and nobody seems to care. When you have an imperfect title multiplying by the day, you are weakening the soft, uh, the soft structure, the, the, the the foundation of economic activity. Because at the end of the day, when you talk of collateral, it's still about title to land in any form, whether developed or undeveloped. It's a serious matter. And I hope that sometimes, somewhere, somebody will listen and let us do things properly. Now, even with the reviews, accessibility still. They, they, nobody has accepted any review proposed so far. The land use decree came about in 1978. You know that. We are talking 1990. It's 20 years now. More than 20 years. Because it was in June that we had it. And it's not been touched. Not at the level of federal government. So it's, it gives cause for concern. Even if it were right at that time, we do see that a 20-year-old law touching on essential part of our life like that would not uh, command a review that will be uh, enacted in any form. There must be something wrong somewhere. I'm sure you agree with me that if a nation can agree on an accidental land law, we all agree it, was, it came accidentally because government thought it was uh, exigent.